Hi, I'm Dan Hartwell. I'm the senior pastor at Church at the Gate in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. And I'm David Schwab. I'm the outreach pastor at Church of the Gate. We are filming this documentary to create an awareness for our need to repent, to reconcile, and to build relationships with our Native American brothers and sisters and help champion them in their God-given destiny. You know, this past summer, the summer of 2016, a large group of us from all over the nation traveled through native lands from reservation to reservation with just one goal, repentance on bended knee. And as we traveled, we had a film crew that came with us and took film of the entire event. And as we looked at the footage, we could see that true repentance and true reconciliation was happening between natives and non-natives. Yes. And it became very clear to us that this was bigger than us. This was bigger than our summer. This was even bigger than our region. But there is a true need in this nation for repentance to happen between natives and non-natives. And that's why we're here today. We are here to raise support for this documentary, to cover the cost of producing this documentary. So would you partner with us so that we can educate others of this great need. We thank you for partnering with us in this God-directed documentary that we believe will truly bring great healing for our nation. Enjoy the footage. Hi, I'm Betsy Moeller with the South Dakota Apostolic Prayer Network. We are doing a documentary of a recent prayer journey that the Holy Spirit put us on in South Dakota. This was a prayer journey the Lord had imprinted on my heart a number of years ago. And when the time came to do this prayer journey, He made it very clear it was the time to have an apology of repentance to go to the land of the Wounded Knee Massacre. Our children, they, you know, they grow up in this grief that they don't even know why. When the Holy Spirit first imprinted on my heart that this prayer journey was to happen, I said, Lord, why me? And I said, Lord, why now? It's been 125 years later, but the Lord impressed in my heart so heavily that this prayer journey, he said, would be a catalyst that would bring healing and restoration to the people in the land. The people need to come to a great level of healing and forgiveness. Because anybody trying to minister out of a wounded spirit, we know it doesn't work. And it just creates more problems. Son of man, can these bones live? live, live. As we gave the apology, the Holy Spirit said, when you give it, do it on bending knee. When we did that, it was just like the Holy Spirit just came and flooded us. There were times it was barely a dry eye in the place because it was so real, it was so authentic. There's a whole community out there that has no idea that we're here doing this today. And if they knew that, then there'd be, I believe, a better chance that the whole community could face this healing as a whole. 